All right, let's start things off by taking a live look outside from our Hotel Tybee camera as we look toward the Atlantic. Some larger swells out on Tybee Island today. The rip current risk was elevated, and that's all due to Hurricane Umberto being located several hundred miles off to the east-southeast of Tybee Island. There's the center of circulation, very easy to pick out on our tropical satellite. And the good news, as you can see there, it is inching its way off to the east-northeast. Movement right now, 7 miles per hour, something that may happen here in the next 24, maybe 36 hours. Some slight strengthening as it moves away from the southeast coast. We'll watch here our friends in Bermuda still in that southern area of the cone of uncertainty. But for at least the U.S., I would say we are clear from Umberto. Now, how about Invest 97L? We are still basically in the peak of hurricane season. Any disturbance that's out in the Atlantic can develop very quickly. And we put all of our computer models on this one. A majority of them take it to the north of the islands and curve it off to the northeast. But some run it a little more westerly. And we'll certainly watch here the next two to four days to see uh, any trends that we pick up on. And hopefully this is a system we don't have to sweat out once we get maybe a week down the road. Temperatures at this hour, speaking of sweating, we did a lot of that today. Low to mid 90s still at this hour, unless you're right on top of the Atlantic out at the beach. Maybe your toes are in the water on Tybee Island where it's 87 degrees, 93 in Savannah. And you go inland, we're still finding 95 in Vidalia, 94 in Reedsville. The humidity just a little bit lower, so it feels like temperatures are maybe one or two degrees warmer than what's shown there. The heat certainly on. We hit 95 degrees this afternoon in Savannah, the 100th time this year. We've had a daytime high of 90 or more. Yearly average is 77, and we've already been way above that. Forecast moving forward tonight, we're looking at temperatures falling from 90 all the way down through the 70s and out the door in the morning, uh, about 70 degrees. Rain chances, well, really nothing here in the short term. Slightest chance on Wednesday. But the good news on Wednesday, let's watch this now. Umberto is gone. A cold front comes dropping down to the south, and that will give us maybe a little spotty shower chance and also this much cooler air. So the good news as we move closer to the weekend, the Brooklyn Peanut Festival will have tolerable temperatures, sunshine, and dry conditions. The parade will step off at 78 degrees. Here's the area's certified most accurate forecast. Mid-90s Tuesday, yeah, it's still hot. And then we finally drop below average for a change Thursday and Friday. How about those high school football games for the frenzy on Friday night? Temperatures for kickoff will be in the 70s. Track our forecast on the go.